everyone. So today we have Yogesh, an uh, Indian residing in Canada and a proud software engineer at AWS Canada, AWS Amazon Canada. Uh, and today we are here to interview Yogesh, where we'll discuss about his journey from, you know, India to Canada and then to Amazon, uh, AWS Amazon Canada. So Yogesh, um, thank you for, you know, being with us and, you know, agreeing to share your journey. So, so let's start. Um, tell us about yourself uh, right from the beginning. Yeah, so uh, yeah, thanks for having me here, Nikita. I started out as a mechanical engineer, which might come, uh, come as a bit of a shock to everyone. Um, but yeah, uh, so my journey started in India. Um, I was studying mechanical engineering from HVTI Frankfurt. Um, and well, I was sort of always interested in coding, but then uh, being from India, there is a lot of pressure to get government jobs, and there are no that there aren't really any government jobs if you take computer science. Um, so I took mechanical engineering as most of the people in my household uh, they were familiar with these branches, but they were not familiar with computer science. Uh, but by the end of um, my engineering, I was pretty sure that this is not what I was going to pursue. Um, fortunately, uh, in my college. Uh, Tata Consultancy Services. Um, they they came for uh, picking up uh, picking up candidates, potential candidates. I appeared. Uh, I got the job, and from there, I I sort of at least had my foot in the computer science industry. Um, so I worked here for worked at Tata Consultancy Services for two years. Um, mainly, the work was on Microsoft technologies, uh, which included some coding. Well, I would say that it gave me exposure to industry um, and what they would expect. Um, and then luckily I had a roommate um, who was going to Canada and he suggested me why, why just don't you um, try for higher studies in Canada? Um, you could easily get into one of these universities for masters and then try out your luck over there. Um, so I followed his advice and um, uh, I was able to secure an admission at Dalhousie University uh, with masters, uh, but there was a catch. Uh, they asked me to take all of the undergrad courses, um, which were the Bachelor of Engineering courses for computer science before hopping on to the master's courses, which for me was fortunate. Um, that's where I got my hands on with the data structures, algorithms, operating systems, um, networks. Uh, and the way the way uh, the curriculum is drafted in, um, at least in Canada, uh, you have to continuously work hard. Um, they would give you assignments, and you're not only graded upon your uh, just midterms or just the final exam. You could totally skip final exams or midterms because the weightage is on. Okay, if you have ten assignments, you would be having say four percent from each of the assignments towards your final grade. Um, so that way, um, so that way, I was really getting into all of these sub subjects, and um, uh, this helped me to uh, get uh, stronger into data structures, algorithms, operating systems, and also the master's courses. But um, those master courses are mainly for your entry into PhD if you want to pursue that. Uh, but for me, at that time, I was really interested only in these. Uh, data structures, algorithms, operating systems, networks, all that sort of stuff. Um, so after after I finished my master's, uh, well, before I finished my master's, um, I gave an interview at Samsung. Um, and yeah, since um, I was, at, at that time, I had pretty good practice of data structures, algorithms, all those, uh, all that good stuff. Uh, so I was able to get that job. Uh, but at that time, I didn't feel like I was prepared for companies like Amazon or Google, Microsoft. Um, so what I did was in those two years, uh, because these companies also require you to have some additional industry experience uh, before even getting into the entry level jobs. Um, uh, so I took those two years uh, when I was working at Samsung um, to polish my data structures, algorithms, um, and also gain the industrial experience, which would at least get me the interview. So after two years, um, I applied for Amazon. Uh, 
the team that I applied for, um, it's S3 index. Um, so they had, so Amazon actually has two types of recruitments. One is mass recruitment, uh, which they usually do for maybe some experimental projects um, or the new teams that they might be uh, building. Uh, and then there are some well-established teams um, like EC2, DynamoDB, Aurora, Retail, where they would have specific positions. Um, so this one was kind of a specific position. So in this way, you would have a little more scrutiny, but also the compensation is uh, far different from what you get into um, in the recruitment events. Um, so after two years, I applied at Amazon and we had a fair bit of an interview process. Um, uh, I went through all of these interviews and they were satisfied with my um, performance on those interviews. And yeah, that's how I got the job at Amazon.